We, we gotta talk, you guys. This kid spent over $13,000 on microtransactions. Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys? Doing today, I had a crazy day so far. I'll probably explain that to you a little bit at the end of this video, but today we gotta talk about this kid that spent over 13 grand, over, not, not $10,000, not $10, not $5,000, $13,000 on microtransactions. I'm gonna put some Star Wars gameplay in the background for you guys. It seems suitable because of the whole controversy surrounding Star Wars Battlefront 2, but I've been playing it a lot, so we're gonna talk about that as well. If you guys are new to the channel or you just support the channel, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate that, man. That would be absolutely amazing, you guys. Also, there's a few days left to enter this little giveaway that I'm doing with you guys where I'm giving away a couple copies of Call of Duty uh, World War II. So if you guys still want to get in on that, there's a few days left and then I'm ending that and then we're going to get into the Christmas giveaway. So if you want to be part of the family, you want to be part of all this stuff, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you stick around, leave a comment, let me know what's going on. I'm drinking a little bit of G Fuel to wake up because I have currently been up for way too long. G Fuel all back here, man. Use code FLOW, get some, makes it cheap. Also right now, I think they're doing like buy one, get one free or whatever. And I know my merch is also doing 20% off. So get some merch, get some G Fuel, let's do it. Get some free games from me. I'm trying to hook it up. It's been, it's been a crazy day. My tire exploded, a bunch of stuff happened. But overall, I think that it's good. I think that it's been good. Now I'm here hanging out with you guys. So I've been seeing this all over Twitter. I've been seeing this a lot. And I, I just kind of want to dive into this because apparently this kid spent over $13,000 on microtransactions. If you guys aren't aware of what a microtransaction is, because some people haven't heard that term specifically before, microtransaction is anything in Call of Duty, in CSGO, in Battlefront 2, where you pay for something, a mini transaction, right? You buy something for a dollar, you buy something for two dollars. That's why it's micro, a transaction is payment and receiving something. So if you wanna buy supply drops, you wanna buy loot boxes, you wanna buy stuff in Overwatch, you want to buy anything from any game ever, that's considered a microtransaction. Now, there's been a huge controversy lately with people saying, oh, certain things seem like they're pay to win. The Star Wars Battlefront 2 game that you guys are currently seeing in the background, which is actually pretty awesome. I haven't bought anything, just saying. But it's pretty awesome. I've been playing a ton of it, but that was under fire because they felt as though the game became less of a microtransaction type of game and it became more of a necessity to get these microtransactions and go ahead and get this pay to win stuff. That was the whole deal. So I'm gonna read you guys some of this article. I'm gonna link this article as well if you guys wanna look at it on your own, but I am going to read to you the important points in my opinion. I just kinda wanna talk about this because this is, this is honestly insane. This man spent, let me read this to you, $13,500.25 on microtransactions. Right now in the comment section, I just want to know if you had $13,000, $13,500, what would you get? Because I'll tell you right now, I would probably, like honestly 100%, I'd probably upgrade my setup a little bit. I'd probably get some new shoes. Speaking of new shoes, bro, I just picked these up. You guys are going to be so excited for what comes next, but I just picked these up. New Yeezys, so ugly man, but so comfortable. So big shout out to Jackson, by the way. Thank you, sir. And I'm also going to SneakerCon in New York. So if you're in New York, if you're going to that SneakerCon, please come out, say what's up to me. Bunch of big plans coming your way. Bunch of new stuff, new channel, lots of stuff is coming soon. But I'd probably buy some shoes, probably upgrade my setup. I'd probably like, get a car. I, there's a lot of stuff that you could get. 13 grand, like I would go, I would go finish college, bro. That's what I would do. Also, I don't know why I keep calling this guy a kid. He's not, he's 19, he is an adult. And uh, believe it or not, somebody the other day was like, bro, you're so old, man, what are you doing? I was like, if you actually think that I'm super old, you are either 11 or maybe I'm old. I don't know, I just turned 26, so who knows? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm old, bro. 26 is the new 67, bro. Check me into a retirement home. I'm down. This guy wrote an open letter to EA by the name of Kensgold. So this guy Kensgold goes on, writes his letter and says, I'm 19 and I'm addicted to online gambling, he wrote. Kensgold wasn't talking about roulette tables or online poker. He was talking about spending over $10,000 on in-game purchases over the last several years. This man was buying stuff through Steam, through GameStop, through any, any place that you could buy a microtransaction. This guy was getting it. This guy was going in. Kensgold, who asked that we not use his real name, probably because his parents would come in and beat this man for spending, yo, this man spent so much money on this. 
Yo, what's up you guys? I'm currently in the middle of editing this video right now, but I just want to let you guys know that I uploaded a super dope video where I put on a GameStop uniform, pretending to work at GameStop, and I noticed a lot of you guys did not see that. I'm going to link that on screen for you guys right now. Open that up, watch that one too, put it in your watch later, whatever you want to do, but definitely watch that video as well. All right, enjoy the rest of this video. Ken's Gold, who asked that we not share his real name, share with Kotaku his bank statements and receipt proving that he had indeed spent over $13,500.25 in games like Counter-Strike, Smite the Hobbit over the past three he spent this in only three years that's wild his post was a plea to the people who design and sell games to take note of the effect that microtransactions can cause in games on the small population of people who are especially susceptible to them even though he's an adult now he says the lure of spending money started when he was only 13 years of age the first was a browser city building game Ken's Gold remembers being similar to Clash of Clans I think I spent around $30 on it, but I was also very young and had no income whatsoever. So, of course, he's out there spending his parents' money on these on these games, man. I just, if he would have invested that $30 into Bitcoin, he would have been a multi-billionaire right now. So, he also played a game called Kingdoms of Middle Earth. And apparently spent a lot of money on that. And he guesses that the top players in that game had to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars because it was like a pay-to-win game, which is, which is super crazy, man. I could not... Let me tell you this, I am a full-time YouTuber. This is my job, this is what I do on a daily basis right here. And I spent, in the past three years, I spent, I spent probably around $3,000 on supply drops, on in-game stuff, simply be on DLC. Simply because it is my job and I do enjoy the games that I play. And this is my thing, I have no problem. If anybody wants to, you can buy anything you want with your money. It's yours, it's yours to do with what you please, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever you want with your money. But, I gotta say, bro, that, this is, this, like, that's actually ridiculous. He spent hundreds of dollars a month on these games. In the summer of 2015, he spent around $800 in purchases over the course of the entire year, thanks to other uh, microtransaction heavy games like Clash of Kings and Age of the Warring Empire. He spent over $4,000. He says, it never feels like you're making a good decision when you spend that $100. But at the time, I was like, what else, what else am I going to spend it on? There wasn't really any repercussions to enforce, like, yo, idiot, stop. I don't think that this happens to everybody, but I'm sure that there are, like this guy, a small percentage of people that get, like, addicted to that, like, oh, what am I going to get out of this supply drop? New weapon! Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. When I see a new weapon, I get stoked, I'm excited, and this is my job, and I'm not even spending as much as this man. I, this man has spent, you know, way, way, four or five times more than I ever have and you're really getting no return on this. When you invest in a video game like that, especially games like Call of Duty that come out every year, um, unless you play it a ton, it's really not smart to invest more than, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks into it, in my, in my opinion. I don't think that you should be out here spending $500. I have a friend, specifically another YouTuber, who I know for a fact spent over $1,800 just to get a single weapon in Call of Duty. Like, that is... That is mind blowing. It's really good for the company though. Obviously, if you're a business, you definitely want that because people are buying your game for 60 and then buying so much more, spending 10 times the amount just on the supply drop. So you guys might be wondering how this guy got the money to pay for all this stuff. At the time, he was a sophomore in high school with no car, but he had a part-time job at Panera. So $300. $400 every two weeks, that's like six to $800 a month. He spent, he reckons he spent about 90% of it on games. His grandparents started to worry and his mom tried to shut off their internet to stop him from playing, but he used his smartphone as a hotspot apparently. Hey, bro, next level finessing. I actually kind of respect that. You know, you may <laughs> turn your phone into a hotspot, bro, go, go for it. He ended up stopping on some of these games simply because, you know, they had changes in the game and some of his friends weren't playing. So he stopped on a lot of them, but the reason that he thinks that he like spent all this money is because he would get into it and he knew for a fact that when he saw something that he liked, if he only dropped 50 bucks, he would definitely, definitely have it. Like he'd see a friend playing as a character and he'd just say, hey man, if I drop 50 bucks, guarantee you I'll have that, which is it, which it can definitely like, it can be easy to think that way, I guess. And his whole thing is at the time he didn't realize like how much that meant. So, so yeah, dang, dude. Apparently he got a therapist to help him out. He had to get up the nerve to ask for help. Like, he didn't realize that it would help as much as it did, but apparently it helped a lot. And when he saw the whole Battlefront 2 thing come out, he decided that he wanted to make this letter and kind of 
talk about how it can affect people. And to this day, he still actually buys microtransactions, which I don't fault anybody for. If you play a game, you enjoy it. Like I said, if you're having fun, go ahead. Right now, he's a PUBG player, which is pretty cool. Bro, if you stream on Twitch, I'll come watch you. Actually, Ken's Gold, I'll come watch you. I'll get you a microtransaction, bro. Don't be spending all your money on it. I got you. I'll come to one of your streams. I'll hit that donate button. I'll get you like 10 bucks or whatever. You get some stuff for you. And uh, his final statement is, he wasn't really doing this to slam anybody. He just kind of wanted to help prevent others from spending thousands of dollars on microtransactions like this, which I, I totally understand. That's totally, that, that's cool. That's pretty cool of him. And here's my little belief on the whole microtransaction thing. I think that when a game becomes pay to win, I think that that's kind of a step over the line. I also believe that with the whole EA thing, the real problem with that was that it's a game that sold for $60, so it's supposed to be a, a full game. When you buy a game for $60, it is technically supposed to be like a full game, right? But they went the way of the mobile games, where mobile games you like download it for free, and then from there you can make in-app purchases, but it kind of balances out because you're getting the game for free, so you have the extra money to spend. Now when you pay 60 bucks, you expect to get a full game, but you're really not with some of these, and that's kind of where the, the line gets a little bit blurred in my opinion. I definitely think that Either, this is a, this is just my opinion, you can totally disagree with me or agree with me. I think that games need to raise up in value, but you get all the DLC, or you need to make the games way cheaper, like Overwatch I think was like a $40 game, and then you could get the in-app stuff, or whatever, the in-game purchases. But all these games have stated $60. $60 games have pretty much been that way for as long as I can remember, man. Games have always been 60 bucks at a regular average price. Like the price of a brand new game is $60, right? And that really hasn't increased. Like the inflation, like that has not increased with inflation or anything like that. Video game companies have always kept it at $60, which I think it would be fair for them to raise the price to $80 or whatever because they have, they've been one of the few items, one of the few purchasable products and items that have not raised up in price over the years. Instead, they get their money through other ways such as DLC and all that. But I think either the games need to lower themselves, so maybe cut the game price in half and make it like 30 bucks, and then you could put in more in-game purchases and stuff, and that makes the customer feel not as, you know, like cheaped, you know what I mean? Cheaped out, uh, it makes it feel not as cheechy, makes you feel like not as greedy, like you're trying to take all the money that I have in my bank account, you know what I mean? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight microtransactions in my bank account right now. I can't afford nothing more. Or the prices need to be raised up and then with that price, it includes all the DLC and all the future content. Either one, I think both of them sound fair in my opinion. And we also don't want games that are pay to win. I don't think that somebody should be better than me just because they spent that 20 bucks to unlock Darth Vader or whatever. I do want to say this, it seems like with Star Wars Battlefront 2, EA is trying to take the steps to kind of correct the situation that they had going on where people felt it was a pay to win. So props to you, I hope that y'all keep doing that. On top of that, I just really want to know your guys' opinion. Basically this video was just to say, what are you doing bro? What are you doing spending 13 grand on these, I just, that like, that blows my mind dude. I just, I don't understand. Either way, I had a phenomenal day. I literally did not sleep. I slept for like two hours, that's a lie. So I slept for like two hours. I was streaming on Twitch. Come over to my Twitch channel, subscribe to me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Uh, we had a fun day, we had some good stuff. We picked up some brand new shoes. My tire exploded, I had to get it fixed. I hung out with my dad. Um, and now I'm making a video for you guys and hopefully later I'll, uh, I don't know, make some, again, I don't know eat some pizza but either way make sure that you guys join the little giveaway stuff make sure you guys are following me make sure y'all are subscribed please drop a like on this if we get you for like at least a cool thousand likes that would be awesome and i'm so stoked for like the next couple weeks are gonna be pretty cool you guys are gonna definitely see for those of you who stay till the end i just want to tell you i'm this is the plan bros i'm making a new channel it's gonna be like a vlog only channel it's gonna have a heavy emphasis on sneakers and stuff like that and you guys are gonna get to see like a different side of me which is pretty cool i'm gonna explain it all over there on that channel i will let you guys know when i make that just make sure you guys are staying here focusing on the channel doing all that and i love y'all y'all are honestly amazing i do want to know what you guys would do if you had 13 grand right now though that's something that interests me i love y'all y'all are just the best other than that i think that's it I think that's good. I'll see you in the next one. Get some merch, all right? I wanna see y'all out. I, I'm, I am planning on doing the GameStop fan meetups like I do every year out here in Vegas. Um, So that's just another extra way if you guys live in Vegas and you guys wanna meet me, I'm gonna do some fan meetups. I'm gonna get some games for you guys for Christmas and all that, so make sure you guys are staying up to date on all the stuff. I'm on, I live on Twitter, so if you need something from me, hit me up there. See you in the next one, and I am over and out.